Are you not sure what to get the videographer in your life? Maybe dad needs some accessories for his camera. Either way, I got you covered. I got 10 accessories that every videographer or home video maker needs this holiday season. And that video is coming up next. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Brian the Camera Guy here with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about accessories. But first, if you're returning to the channel, welcome back. It's good to see you guys again. We're almost there. We're, we're almost to the end of 2019 and we're still about halfway away from my goal of getting up to 100 subscribers. Might seem like a small task, but after the last video, we did pick up some subscribers and I really appreciate you guys joining along. If you're new to the channel, my name's Brian the Camera Guy. Welcome. I review Sony camera gear and accessories that go along with those cameras. If you like this video and you find value, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Today, we're gonna to be talking about 10 accessories that every videographer or home video maker could use this holiday season. Now all these accessories are gonna be under $100 and I'm gonna give you two additional bonus accessories that are gonna be over the $100 price point but still are really a nice perk to have. So if you're looking for that last minute holiday gift for a photographer or a videographer, you've come to the right place. So let's jump in to the first item. First item up, for anybody who's shooting video, you can't do without one of these and that is Mr. Gray card. If you haven't watched my video on how to properly white balance a video, I'll go ahead and leave that up here in the cards above, along with the description down below. Um, but this is a necessary thing. It definitely helps with white balance. You don't want your videos to look eh, not right. This gray card definitely helps you out in balancing the color. This thing only runs $7.50 on Amazon and is a must buy for anybody who's shooting video. Moving on to number two. Now that you got your image looking good, we need to move on to audio. First up, I got the Rode Video Micro. This thing comes in at $55. You're gonna mount this right up on top of your camera. It's a shotgun microphone. It's tiny, it's portable, it's very easy to use, it's compact, lightweight, and it produces great audio. I highly recommend picking up one of these. Don't rely on that in-camera audio. You're, you're gonna run into a problem every single time. Speaking of audio, you can't go wrong with the Boya BY M1 lav mic. This is the lav mic that I use for all my talking head videos. I do prefer a lav mic over a shotgun or boom microphone. Yeah, you get the mic in the shop, but at the end of the day, you want the best audio possible. And I definitely feel that this gives you great audio and this is gonna come in just under $20. Next up, we got our first accessory that's over $100. So this is one of those bonus accessories we have the Rode Wireless Go system. So this system does retail for $199. You can pick it up on Amazon. This is a great wireless microphone solution. So it's great for the on-the-go on creator. So you put the transmitter right on the cold shoot and you put the other receiver, clip it right onto the shirt. You can also run a lav mic off of this. The audio sounds pretty good on it. Um, if you haven't seen my video about the Rode Wireless Go, I'll go ahead and link that up in the cards above. So now that you got your audio out of the way with your wireless system, your lav mic, your shotgun microphone. Next up, it's time to illuminate things just a little bit more. And I'm gonna talk to you about a handy dandy little accessory light. This is the Aperture M9. This comes in at $45. It's not gonna break the bank. So this thing is pretty bright. So it does come uh, with this nice magnetic diffuser. It's just clips right on there. So a nice little magnetic diffuser. It also comes with a clear diffuser or a softener. So this is a softener. It also comes with blue and orange gels. So you can change the color of any light very easily by just throwing on these little, these little diffusers. And now you have like an orange light. See, orange. Or you can also use the the blue as well. Handy little thing, like I said, only $45. Now there is an upgrade model, so this is this is another one of your bonus accessories. Um, there is an upgrade model and that is the Aperture MC. Now this comes in at about $110. Now this is an RGB light, so you don't have to mess around with any of these diffusers or these color changers. It's got RGB built right in and from my understanding, from the reviews I've seen online, it, it sounds like it's a great light and would highly recommend it. Uh, in fact, if anybody's looking to send me a Christmas present, be more than happy to take one of those MCs. Aperture, if you want to reach out, definitely reach out. 
So now that we got our image looking good, we got our audio solution, we got our lighting all under a hundred bucks. Next, I'm gonna talk about a remote control. So this remote control is good for all of the Sony cameras. So the A7 III, A6400, the A6600, a simple $7.99 remote. So what does it do? It gives you three options, this little remote. Now there are some upgrade models, but you have a start and stop, you have a two second timer and you have a normal shot. If you are recording by yourself and the camera is a little bit further away, you have your remote, you can stop and start your video at any time. If you wanna take a selfie of yourself and the camera's too far away, you have shot mode. You also have the two second timer. So if you wanna frame yourself up, looking good, um, you got that two second timer, so you can definitely go ahead and use that. Highly recommend this. Um, like I said, $7.99 and I thought to myself, how, how often would I use it? And I use it all the time. Like right now, how we're gonna jump to the next uh, to the next item. I'm going to pause you and then unpause you. And welcome back. So like I said, we got your remote. Um, next up, we have sensor cleaners. This is very important for anybody who owns a mirrorless camera. I have the ASPC model from Sony, Sony A6400. These are sensor cleaner kits. You can generally pick these up for anywhere between 15 to $40. I have the Ultra Photo kit. So in here comes some cleaning pads. It also comes with a nice little air blower. When you're cleaning your sensor or you're cleaning your lenses, you always wanna try and do this. And when you're cleaning it, you want to make sure you hold it underneath and spray that out. It does come with some cleaning solution. So you got some cleaning solution here. You got a lens cleaner. Comes with um, also a lens dotter. So you can get all those little spots off. But most importantly, it comes with swabs. And these swabs, I won't break them out, but uh, what you do is you, you take the swabs, you spray a little solution on there, and then you swipe across, and then you swipe back, and your sensor is clean. It's important to keep that dust off the sensor. Last thing you wanna be doing, especially if you're taking photos, is have to go into post and clean up all those little dots. So make sure you're cleaning your sensors. Trust me, the first time I did it was very nerve wracking, um, but it's pretty simple. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. There's a bunch of YouTube videos on how to clean the sensor. And I believe this one, this one comes in at around 30 bucks. So you got your image, you got your audio, you got your lighting, you got your sensor cleaner. Next up, you're gonna need to record those memories using a nice memory card. So I recommend getting a couple memory cards. Most of these nowadays, you can find these for about 60 bucks or less. I have for my Sony a6400, I have the SanDisk Extreme Pro, the 170 megabyte read. Now, if you're gonna use that, you're gonna want those quick file transfers to your computer. What you're gonna wanna pick up is one of these. Um, unfortunately, the reader that you need to get is the SanDisk reader. It's just little SanDisk reader here. Um, this is gonna give you the 170 megabyte file transfer. I try to use other ones, they just didn't work as well. This one, this one works the best. It's another $17 item. So this is another item that's under the $100. You can get memory cards and you can get one of these readers for about 60 to 80 bucks, depending on which one you go with. Now, if you're gonna go with the memory cards, you also need a memory card holder. So right here, I have a nice cheap memory card holder. I think this cost me eight bucks for like two of these. So this holds all the memory cards that a photographer or videographer might need. Only eight bucks and I got two of them. I'll put links to all these products down below. So if you wanna check them out, I really appreciate it. They are affiliate links and they do help support my channel. So the person you're buying for is Crispy Image. Good audio, good lighting, sensor cleaned, all set. Got a remote to operate this thing. Got some to even record it on. But what about power? We need some power. And if you're like me, you have the Sony a6400. It's got the older W batteries, the NP50 batteries. So I highly recommend picking up some additional batteries for the photographer, videographer in your life. I'll put some links down below, but I have the RAV Power ones. They're uh, decent, they're very good. They, they last me about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, these batteries chew up. Even the Sony versions are only gonna last you a little bit over an hour. But why pay twice the price when for 30 bucks, you can get two batteries and a charger. You can charge with this one, you can charge two batteries at a time. But let's say you got somebody who is kind of running and gunning and they run out of juice because maybe they just don't have enough batteries. 
So I recommend getting something that is a rechargeable battery source. So like I, I have the fuel rod here. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, I picked this up at Disney a couple of years ago, cost me 29 bucks. Nowadays, you can get something even better than this. You can get something like RAF Power or one of the other alternative battery solutions. These are gonna do much better at giving you better power options. Just make sure whatever you pick up, you are gonna to wanna to pick up something that has maybe a micro USB charging cable and a USB-C charging cable. Most cameras will have either a micro USB or a USB-C charging port. This way you're definitely gonna cover the person. Uh, these range anywhere from $20 all the way up to 70, 80, hundred dollars depending on how expensive you want to go i'll go ahead and list a couple medium range options down in the description below so there you have it my top 12 camera accessories that every videographer or photographer would love to have this holiday season so go ahead let me know what you think of the products that i listed do you have other products that you would recommend to the videographer or photographer in your life go ahead and comment down below let me know did I miss anything or is there anything else that you would recommend? So I want to thank you guys for stopping by on this video. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Happy holidays to you and your family. If you like this video and you found value in it, appreciate it if you hit that like button. Subscribe to see more. Ring that bell notification so you don't miss out on my future videos. Want to see another video about a Sony camera gear? Click right up here. Want to see another video from my channel? Click right down here. It's a YouTube pick. Go ahead and comment on that video and let me know how they do. Until next video, I'm glad you came back or appreciate you joining me for the first one. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Brian, out.